Hey, it's Robin. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hey, it's Robin. And in my free group this month, I try to run a free group every month. And there's different topics depending on what people are interested in. And sometimes they're repeat topics because it's something that people, you know, it's the first time you do something, you don't always do it 100% and it, it isn't always awesome. Sometimes you need to do it a few times before you really get it. So I sometimes times I have requests for repeat groups. Um, but this month we're talking about soda and kicking the soda habit. And so we have been talking about diet soda. So is diet soda a good choice? Is it a better choice than regular soda? Well, I don't think so. I don't think either one of them are a good choice at all. And here's why. So diet soda, so you're, you know, a lot of people think that it's a better choice because it's more health conscious. You're, you're cutting that 140 calories, right? That you're getting in a regular soda. So, you know, it's, it's good. You're not having that, that extra, um, calories, but it's filled with artificial sweeteners like sucralose, um, aspartame, saccharin, you know, whatever. And our diet soda and those artificial sweeteners actually have a more intense flavor even than regular sugar. And so what it does is it dulls your senses to naturally sweet foods. So all of a sudden, like healthy foods, like, you know, sweeter vegetables, like carrots or sweet potatoes or um, fruit, don't taste that good because even though they are naturally sweet compared to what you've been used to with the diet soda and that super intense flavor, they don't taste good. So you're less likely to be eating those um, healthy foods that are good for you. The other thing is that your body actually reacts the same way as it does to regular sugar when you introduce artificial sugar because it doesn't know that it's not real sugar. So it still sends out insulin to deal with the sugar and the, the increase in insulin actually causes your, your body to go into a fat storage mode. So that's not typically what you want, right? But also, so with regular sugar, the insulin deals with the sugar that you um, have. And if you, um, if you don't give your body that sugar that it's expecting, then all of a sudden it's like, hey, I got too much insulin, I need some sugar to deal with this insulin. And so it actually causes cravings and it can cause you to eat more food than if you didn't have the diet, if you had the regular soda, even though you know, you'd have extra calories for the regular soda, there's been studies that have shown that diet soda actually causes you to uh, eat more, um, be more overweight than you would be if you were eating, drinking the regular. So uh, not good, right? Like that's not what, that's not what you want. Um, it, it, there's been studies that have shown that diet soda causes a pretty significant increase in waist circumference because uh, that tends to be where the fat gets stored. It, it, it's, you have a bigger risk of diabetes, uh, which actually I was a bit surprised at. I thought you would have a bigger risk with diabetes with regular pop, but because your insulin response is still the same, because your body thinks you're getting sugar, that's what is the precursor to diabetes, is your body not handling insulin well or not regulating insulin well or you know, becoming insulin resistant. Uh, so you are still at risk for diabetes. You're at risk for a metabolic syndrome, which is, you know, um, heart issues and all sorts of other things. There's a lot of citric acid in, um, in diet soda and that can erode the tooth enamel and you can end up with a lot of problems with your teeth. So it's not just the insides that you're affecting. It's also uh, correlated with headaches, depression, osteoporosis, heart disease, and a lot of times people are drinking diet soda instead of water, not in addition to, and a lot of times people drink soda because they don't love water, which I, you know, I get, but water is critical to almost all the processes in our body. And so without it, without adequate water, you're really affecting how your body functions and you're going to really affect your energy levels. And it's going to be a spiral because now your energy drops because you're not drinking water and your body's not working properly. And so you reach for the diet soda to give you that kick and that boost of energy and uh, you feel okay for a little bit and then you feel like you need another soda and it just spirals and spirals and spirals until you feel worse and worse and worse and you're like, I can't live like this anymore. So I have a few people like that in my group. 
that are at that point where they feel like they can't do this anymore. And so we're working through it. We're coming up with some ideas and some suggestions for how to, how to decrease and hopefully cut out the soda. So is there a place for diet soda? I don't really think it's a good option. The only time I see it as being a possibility is if you're drinking regular soda and you kind of don't like diet soda, but you're having a really hard time cutting back the regular soda, then maybe you could use diet soda as an interim step, not like a replacement that you're going to keep on with, but as an interim step. So you go from the regular soda, you go to the diet soda, and then you cut back from there because it's not as appealing. You don't like it as much, but you want to make that a temporary step because as we've just talked about, it's really not good for your health. So I hope this is helpful and I'd love it if you'd comment below, like, do you have an issue with diet soda? What's your opinion on diet soda? Do you agree? Have you heard this stuff before? Um, you know, I'm, I'm open to, to learning more as well. So if you have some other information, I would love to hear it. I hope you have a great day.